my beauties, please excuse my towel. As you would have just seen, I've just had the most heavenly bath, lit all the candles and just relaxed. So you're probably guessing it already, but this is my evening and almost sleep wellness vlog. So many of you have requested it. Marcus is away yet again. All of this traveling at the moment, honestly, we're like two passing ships, but it did give me the opportunity to be able to fully relax and be able to film this with you. So I am quickly going to dry myself off and pop a pair of pajamas on. And this is going to be basically my favorite products and my favorite skincare evening routine, what I do to really bring myself down, try and relax after a very busy day and just get myself ready for sleep. I really struggle sleeping if I'm honest. Um, I struggle to switch off and I feel like my most creative time and my incredible ideas come at night, but that does mean that I get absolutely zilch sleep. So I really, really try to focus on certain things that help, certain products, ingredients, candles, beautiful bath oils, all of that jazz. And I'm gonna be talking to you guys about all my favorite tips and tricks that I would suggest and what I use for an evening pampering for the best night's sleep. Please excuse me for one moment. I'm going to go pop on a pair of pajamas and come back. And voila, if only it was that quick. <laughs> So, PJs are on. I'm never without a gorgeous pair of pajamas. I feel like it elevates every single evening routine if you just feel spoily in a gorgeous pair of PJs. These are Olivia Von Hull, actually. They sent them to me for a champagne campaign before, champagne campaign, what a tongue twister, uh, before Christmas, and they are just gorgeous. Another one of my favorites is Hanro. Don't know whether any of you know Hanro. It's stocked in in Harrods and it's not that you know fancy or it's not that sexy it's just so comfortable and such beautiful quality anyway do you know what I'm actually going to spin this whole vlog on its head and start off actually where I'm going to end up which is essentially my bed but I've got something I want to show you just wait one second I'm coming back Obviously, I was going to show this to you when I actually got into bed. I find it absolutely fascinating that we spend a third, get this, a third of our entire life in bed. Mind blowing. Mind, is that not crazy? It seems madness to me. So, I mean, they advise that people get eight hours sleep. Ha ha, how many of us actually get eight hours sleep? Which is essentially a third of your day. So a third of your life is spent in bed. And that's really where I think that a lot of people go wrong. I think you need to invest in the most beautiful linens, linens that are good for your skin, particularly our faces. And I have recently been testing a pillow. As you guys know, I am so particular about my face and specifically at my skin and what I put onto it. And I am one of those beautiful sleepers that either sleep on their side with their face squished up or actually on my front. So I either get really big creases when I wake up, essentially leading to wrinkles on my chest from where my, <laughs> please excuse me, my breasts are squeezed together or I've got this wonderfully attractive line down my face from where I'm gonna do this no one screenshot me where you lie in the morning and I get this huge line down here so when I came across sleeping glows pillow I thought mmm I'm not sure, I'm not sure I find it comfortable. Anyway, there were so many different benefits to this pillow that I thought, do you know what, I've got nothing to lose. I'm gonna try it out. I am like really shocked at how lovely this is. I'm sure all of you guys know about memory foam and essentially this actually is a, a memory foam pillow, 
but it has been designed by experts and actually orthopedics. So it has been professionally designed to make sure that our body position is correct. Best thing that I think about memory foam is that it's hypoallergic. So I actually get really, really blocked up at night. I don't know whether it's the dust or hay fever or anything like that. But since I've been using this, I haven't been sneezing during the night, which as you can imagine is very, very helpful because I wake up, I sneeze and yeah, I don't tend to get back to sleep, which is always a pain. It's also got thermo insulating properties, so it maintains optimal temperature, which I think is fab, because again, I do tend to get a little bit hot and sweaty um, because I have a very large duvet and a cover, and I do tend to like to get my thigh out. Anywho, it's a whole, it's a whole process. The Sleeping Glow pillow definitely looks a little bit different to the others, and it very much is. So as you can see, it's got the sort of indentations either side and depending upon how you sleep and your different positions mean you sleep differently on this pillow so as you guys know I sleep either on my front or on my side so to show you if I was sleeping on my side on a normal pillow I'd have my face all squished up now if you have your side here as you can see the cutaway allows you to breathe and your face is not scrunched up. So it's really, really anti-aging. I've already noticed a massive difference in terms of puffiness. So I am a real pillow snuggler. I like getting my face in there. And when I wake up, I am so puffy. Now that's something I've noticed a really, really big difference with, with the Sleep and Glow pillow. So, to wrap that up, <laughs> not how I thought I'd start this vlog, but something that has massively helped and um, hopefully will help you guys. I highly, highly recommend it. And um, yeah, it's just gorgeous for a good night's sleep. So moving on, I am going to do my skin with you guys. It has been a long day. I've just had the most heavenly bath. So I'm fully relaxed, I'm calm, and I've got some gorgeous things to show you. First things first, I am never without a silk scrunchie. This one is actually from Olivia Darcy. They are a gorgeous luxury women's wear brand. They do the most beautiful bespoke dresses. They're currently creating me a stunning dress for a race day, which is very exciting. So hair is scraped back and I'm going to take it one step further because I don't want to get it too wet or get any oil or grease into my hair. So I have these fab things. Now I have no idea where this is from. I actually, oh no, it's from Freyora. I actually bought them on Amazon and they come with these amazing reusable cotton pads and I love them. I will link them down below. They make things a lot easier. So, oh, I'm going to look beautiful egghead for you guys. So, that is tightly around my head and I'm going to start off with my Chantecaille cleanser. I've told you about this cleanser before. I absolutely adore it. It's so calming, it's so soothing and the smell is just heavenly. This is their rice and geranium foaming cleanser. You need really just a pea amount and I pop it on on dry skin. It does feel a bit tacky but trust me, once we add water, this bad boy foams like you cannot believe. Add a touch of water. Oh, just throw it on the floor. <laughs> well done, Leonora. And look at that lather. Oh, it is just gorgeous. I'm running out of that cleanser. I really need to do an emergency buy on Shantakai. Hmm. Almost rhymed. <laughs> oh my goodness me, I look utterly ridiculous. Get all of that dirt from today off my skin. Oh, this is just gorgeous. And I do tend to do a double cleanse just to ensure that everything is out, all those little nooks and crannies to ensure my skin is super clean and ready for the gorgeous serum and moisturizer that we are just about to pop on. Now using my reusable cotton pad, some warm water, and I'm just gonna remove that cleanser and come back. Okay, so that is all of my makeup off. I double cleansed and my skin is feeling squeaky clean. Bit of an egghead 
but clean and glowing skin. As you can see, I've got a couple of blemishes, which, trust me, I'm not delighted about. Right, a new brand that I have recently come across and am blown away by is a brand called Olivana. I'm absolutely hooked. Now it is a British luxury botanical skincare brand. Now you guys know <laughs> that entire sentence is my passion. Luxury, British, botanical, skincare, brand. Voila! <laughs> so the brand is called Olivana and it comes in these gorgeous purple packaging and there's real weight to them. They are really, really creme de la creme, pure luxury through and through. Another thing I love about this brand is that it is female founded. So the founder is a lady called Janine Summers and she had a true passion for botanical ingredients. So she uses really potent ingredients that are clinically proven to do really miraculous things. And I love the fact that her brand motto is that it's mother to daughter, friend to friend, and it's for all skin types of all women. I just think it's amazing. And they have this specific night range, and that's what I'm gonna use with you this evening. And I have noticed the most incredible difference in my skin and the way that I'm able to just drift off to sleep. And I really think it's down to this. So there's a lot of hype and a lot of buzz about the particular ingredient that's in this. Now I'm gonna give it a go in terms of pronouncing it. It's it's called Bakuchiol. Bakuchiol. I am so sorry. I am slaughtering this name. It is a plant-based hero ingredient that is super, super antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. It's just amazing. So, as you can see, it has a pipette and it really is a rather thick consistency. So, I'm going to pop this on. I take a whole pipette of this and I just strategically place it across my face. I just need a touch more on my nose. It is absolutely stunning. I adore the scent of this. It really is a beautiful product. That's clinically proven to reduce wrinkle depth. So fingers crossed, it is working its magic. I'm going to take off this ridiculous thing off my head. Don't need that anymore. And I'm just using my fingertips just to push it into my skin and allow my skin to absorb it. A little bit of tapping around my eyes. And I just take a moment to actually just relax and breathe and enjoy the process. You know, it's such a spoily thing that we can have these evenings. And I'm just so grateful to just have the time to be able to pamper myself in a way and really get myself ready for bed. Now, once that has all soaked in, I'm going to use their night cream. Now, this is their intense night cream. And again, the smell is just gorgeous. So it is, again, quite a thick consistency. Look at that gorgeous branding. Now, this particular product of theirs has won some serious awards. It's seen in Vogue, it's won lots of different beauty awards, and it truly is a remarkable product. So, I'm going to use it rather sparingly <laughs> on my face. It's an ultra reparative moisturizer. The consistency is so silky and smooth. It really, really is like gliding onto my skin. Again, the scent is just beautiful. It is the perfect combination of almost having like a spa type experience at home, yet you can still smell that it's really, really amazing botanical ingredients. Also enriched with collagen boosting organic cotton extract which is so good for our skin. Now that is going to restore and revive our skin whilst we sleep. And the smell really, really helps you relax, which I think is just so smart. Now in terms of a little facial massage that you can give yourself, I went to an amazing event a few weeks ago. The celebrity facialist taught us about how to give yourself lymphatic drainage. Now you can use your fingers like I am so and just gliding up 
the jawline and down the neck and that is just bringing any toxins away from your face down your neck and out of your body now for your cheekbones you can create almost like a little bit of a claw detail and you can claw underneath gently underneath your cheekbone like so and it really contours the cheekbone i love the consistency of the night repair cream it really allows you to get a real glide of movement on the face and we're just doing a little bit of lymphatic drainage it's really calming so heavenly i'm going to go for a touch more i'm going to pop a touch more on my forehead bring it down my nose slightly and also down my neck I always say this, it is so important to bring your skincare down your neck and on your chest. Our chest skin gets just as much, if not more, sunlight than our face does. So it's so important to protect our decolletage. So I'm just massaging that in. You can massage your collarbones and just really get into this gorgeous evening routine. I'm just going to use upward motions upward motions, with eyebrows, you can really take the eyebrow up around the temple, take some deep breaths, this is just gorgeous. Now I am in no matter of means a facialist or an expert at any single level, I just adore skincare, I've watched so many tutorials, I've had my fair share of facials in my time and I just learn different tips and tricks from different people. Now that is just gorgeous. Now you can do a little bit of dabbing, even the pressure points. So we have pressure points all across our face. Now there are so many that I'm not going to go into it with you, but there are a few above our eyebrows and it's nice if you can just push on a few of those pressure points. Now to finish off almost our facial massage, I have come across the most incredible tool. Now it's a brand called Current Body and this is, I believe they're skin sculpt. And it's a little tool like so. I did show this to you briefly on, a, on another vlog. However, I've been using it every single day since and I am obsessed with it. Now, it is a particular metal that stays really cool. So straight away, it's cooling, it is bringing down any inflammation and it sculpts and performs lymphatic drainage. And you use the cold rollers to pull it up the jawline. You must always use this upwards. We want to massage things upwards, not downwards. <laughs> Gosh, that sounded a bit sketchy. Anyway, we're using the tool and we're going to be using it upwards and straight away. Like, I cannot wait for you guys to try this. It is ridiculous. All my girlfriends come over and they steal this first. And it is amazing. It just contours and sculpts the face and it truly is remarkable, the difference in the morning. Mm, this is incredible. I will definitely link this in the description box below. This is definitely one of my biggest little tricks that I do and you can use it all across the face and bring the eyelids up. Try and get that Bella Hadid eyebrow. <laughs> Anyway, so I spend a little bit of time doing this. Sometimes I even take this to bed and I just have a lovely five or 10 minutes sculpting my face and removing any of those nasty toxins that might still be left in there. Oh, so. That is my face skincare routine done. I don't want to complicate it too much. And those products really, really work so beautifully in harmony together. Now, when it comes to body, I have two favorite moisturizers. So one is actually an oil, and I don't use this every night. I probably use this once a week because it really is a spoily product. Now this is Sarah Chapman's Overnight Body Treatment. It is the creme 
de la creme. It is beautiful. I use it pre-photo shoot. I use it when I'm potentially going out the next night or if my skin really, really needs some TLC. This is exceptional. So just to show you the consistency and straight away what it does to my skin. It is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So that oil soaks in. Look at my skin, it's so dry. It is literally just <laughs> that up. <laughs> and it is just gorgeous. So that is one of my favorites and I would highly recommend it. My mum is also obsessed with this. She is actually a little bit of a magpie. She comes over to mine and nicks this on a regular basis. And then another one of mine, which I love using in my evening routine, so much so that you'll see that it's actually empty, well, almost empty. I can definitely scrape out the last little bits. And this is Aromatherapy Associates Inner Strength. It's emotional support, nourishing body treatment. And it is just gorgeous. The moment I smell this, I just calm down. Oh, I've got an eyelash in my eye. That was good timing. Ooh, there we go. Hmm. It just calms everything down and is such a gorgeous, gorgeous product. Rub this into your decolletage because the scent of the beautiful aroma in this moisturizer will help you fall asleep. Well, that is my skincare done for this evening. I've got to take those naughty little doglets around the orchard. I'm gonna make myself my favorite nighttime tea and then we're gonna to go to bed. In the kitchen and making my favorite cup of tea. Now, I do have a little bit of a sweet tooth. That is not a surprise to any of you. And one of my favorites is Puka 3 Cinnamon. Puka? Puka? Whatever it is. And this is the three cinnamon, a sweet embrace of Indian, Indonesian, and Vietnamese cinnamon. It is so delicious, and like I said, it just sort of stunts that sweet tooth that I have. I absolutely love this. So what I tend to do is come down here, brew my cup of tea, I then take the saucy sauce around the orchard. I've got one here at my feet. Hmm? You want to come say hi? You want to come and say hi? He's wondering when he's going out. Mm -hmm. You want to say hi? Yeah, you're a gorgeous boy. I know, it's bedtime. It's bedtime. So as you can see, it is 10 to 10. And it is their last round before they get tucked up. They have their little bedtime routine where they get tucked in and they go to sleep. And that's them for the evening. So what I tend to do brew my cup of tea, take them out, tuck them in, collect my cup of tea, and then go upstairs, finish off our bedtime routine, and go to sleep. I've got another crying baby. Gosh, do you want to say hi? Come on, you want to say hi? Oh, maybe we're just trying to nibble your brother. Hmm? The dark horse. The dark horse that is Lord Odie von Lothendahl, Cosgrove Smith's me with the most delicious mm, bumblebee paws. Oh gosh, I love them so much. One other thing that I have, that I love, and that I swear by, is a brand called Bubble & Co. Now, it is the craziest thing. I had been trying these, or been taking them, for probably a year before I realized who founded the brand and they they have four different ones and um, whether they're sort of like morning revive reset uh, more energy this one is called pause which is a sleep saver midnight berry flavor we all need that little help sleeping from time to time we developed pause using nature's very best ingredients to gently nudge you into the land of slumber p.s goes well with a good book so they are absolutely amazing they just dissolve into water and um, it's the most amazing story I was talking to one of my mother's girlfriends and I mean like best friend and um, long long-term family friends I was brought up with her children and um, her son Ben exactly the same age as me we literally grew up together and then obviously we went our different directions 
and we were talking about sleep and I was actually talking about their um, morning reset or morning revive and I was saying look whenever I'm sort of like hungover or I've got a bad headache or I just woke up and don't feel on it I take one of these and she was like Leo Ben founded that brand I was like what I am like flabbergasted anyway it is the most incredible brand through and through the, the product is absolutely insane and um, Ben's a legend so I will leave the details of these wonderful little things so they are lit they look like a Barocca they'll probably kill me for saying that so they look like so you pop it into water and it dissolves and they actually taste scrum didiosha so do you know what I'll have one of those with you wait a memento I'm gonna grab a glass can you lot, uh, fruity? Are you feeling a bit fruity? That's not acceptable, thank you very much. I need a glass. I need some water, filtered water, okay. And I'm also very, very lucky that I have a boiling water tap. It is so useful. Obviously not essential, but just a really wonderful luxury to have in the kitchen. It saves time. And that is that there. Just instantly means that you can brew coffee, brew tea, and that is my cinnamon tea. <gasps> in the process. And that wonderful herbal sleep tablet dissolves in the water. We're gonna take these little scrumpchkins. Yes, you. Oh my goodness. Have you ever seen something so delicious in your life? I love you so much. I do. How did I get so lucky? Are you ready to go big wee wees? The big wee wees? Yeah? Yeah? Everybody ready? Everybody ready? Come on then. Come on then, boys. Big wee wee's and the poo poos. Let's go. Let's go. My goodness me. It's rather fresh and chilly out here. Come on then, boys. Big wee wee's and the poo poos. I find it so peaceful coming out at this time. Oh, oh my goodness me. What a beautiful evening. The sky is so clear. I'm not sure whether the camera will show the stars. They are so bright. And a couple of them are planes. <laughs> but they are just spectacular. They are literally twinkling in front of my eyes. What a special evening. He's trying to find the perfect place to go for a number two, I hope. <laughs> I best give him some privacy. I tend to walk myself <laughs> through the orchard most evenings and the boys end up at the back door shivering their little bottoms off, ready to go in and have their treats. And there's me literally <laughs> traipsing around the orchard without them. Oh, there's a little blonde bottom going in. Torch. Ooh, I'm a bit scared he custard going in here. Does anybody else get a little bit scared of the dark? Okay, I very quickly turned around. I'm not going through the orchard without a phone. It's a bit too dark in there for me. A bit too dark. And I'm by myself. And I'm a bit of a scaredy custard, I must admit. Anyway, best give them a little bit of privacy. Let them do their business and they'll meet me back at the back door. Um, I can see Odie is done. He is the dog that has stops on the first blade of grass, does his number one and a number two, and he's ready to go back in, ready for his treat and to be tucked in. Right, let's go and get these little munchkins all tucked up into bed. Where have you been? Come on then. Where have you been? Where have you been? Uh, Odie, that's not nice. It is bedtime. <laughs> You are meant to be being calm. It's bedtime. It's bedtime. In you Thank <laughs> you. 
bug in a rug wrap. and mm, brew level it is so scrummy and definitely hits that little sweet tooth without any sugar it's just scrumptious I have downed my glass of water with the pores tablet in it it is so tasty trust me it's almost like I don't know like a sweet juice something like that it's a black currant flavor and um, it's just really tasty. It just calms me down from the inside out, if that makes sense. I am certainly ready for my bed. So I've got my tea. Let's go upstairs and finish off the last few steps to my evening and sleep wellness routine. after that routine, I can assure you I'm ready just to switch off. Switch the camera off, switch the phones off. Actually, that's something really, really important to mention and something that I've tried so hard to incorporate into my evening routine every single night is to try and switch off from looking at my phone for at least, I'd say, half an hour before I actually go to sleep. Obviously, I have that one quick glance, my phone's on silent, just to ensure there's no emergencies before I close my eyes, but also to ensure the brightness on your phone. Make sure it's at the lowest, lowest level, and if you possibly can, try not to look at your phone or any form of technology, TV, anything, for at least an hour before you go to sleep. Anyway, as you guys can probably tell, I am exhausted. I've got my pillow here which I can't wait to snuggle up to. As you can see I am a bit of a cushion queen. I do love a scatter cushion or two but I truly hope you guys have enjoyed watching my evening, night and sleep wellness routine. I hope you've enjoyed watching all my tips and tricks, new skincare finds and my new pillow finds. This is really life-changing. I love it. Something that's such good value for money that I use every single day for a third of my life. I still can't get over that. How I spend a third of my life in here seems absolutely obscene to me. But anyway, I am going to go and have a good night's sleep, hopefully dream big, wake up in the morning and ready to achieve all of those dreams. Sleep well and sending you so much love.